Hello guys, welcome, welcome. Hadna here again, and we are back to Kokoro Bakamonogatari with Genki chan side of story. Side story. I mean, Genki chan's arc. Well, let's continue. I'm very excited to see what's going, what's coming with Genki chan. So let's go. So, did you get all that? Oh crap, I wasn't paying any attention at all. I got really distracted. I was staring at Gekki Chan's butt as she walked in front of me. She wears very tighty pants, so her butt is pretty much right there all the time. Just a big jiggly booty. <laughs> she must do so many squats. Tuchan? What? I I'm sorry, I zoomed out. How much did you miss? Um, okay, I'll take it from the top. You need to help my sister cheer up. She really needs support since Moku-chan dumped her. I'm confused. More importantly, you need to get her out of the house. All she does is mop around all day <laughs> and annoy me. It's way past depressing. Plus, there is no way that I'm going to keep this act up. What I did today was a favor. But you're her friend, not a nagging sister. She doesn't want to listen to me, but maybe she'll pay attention if it's coming from you. You need to talk to her and convince her that there, there's, more there's more to life than sitting in the dark watching volleyball games. What is it? What? The meaning of life. Cute. Knock it off <laughs> and take this seriously for her sake. That was a serious question. When we go inside, I'll bring you to Genki Chan. Holy shit, is in Genki Chan? Wait, who are you? Jesus Christ, Sama, you're sick. I'm Genko. I am Genki's sister. I explained this already. If this girl is Genki Chan's sister, then that means that every time she said my sister, she was talking about Genki Chan. And that also means that she's been pretending to be Genki Chan this whole time. Oh, I wish I had a twin sister who <laughs> would go to school for me. Our, s our house is just up ahead, so are you sure you're ready to talk to Genki? I'm finally going to get my chance to talk to Genki-chan. I've been waiting weeks for this moment. Our entire relationship could rest on this single critical conversation. I wasn't even thinking about it like that until Genko-san had to go and psych me out. Fuck, I can't finally sweat <laughs> seeping out of my armpits and soaking into my school shirt. This always happens to me when I'm, I'm stressed. No worries, Genko-san, I can do this. Awesome, I'm counting on you. Why did you stop in front of this Mac mansion? Hey, Genko-san, why are you stopping there? This is where I live. I just dropped the <laughs> establishment. I am a waste truck. In fact, I'm so physically shocked that my ham clamp finally squeezes out to that grand wobble. I shudder a bit as she, the tiny metallic sex orb falls out of my panties and clacks against the pavement. He slowly rolls towards Genko Senu, stares at it <laughs> until it makes contact with the sneaker. <laughs> oh god. She traces the origin of the foreign object with her eyes from her show to my undercarriage. Fucking Azukashi. Am I right? This might be the most awkward, embarrassing moment of my young life. Um, that's, um, Genko san shakes her head. Please don't try to explain. Just go in there and get my sister to leave her goddamn room. Oh, okay. I'm really glad that Genko san is such a forgiving and open minded woman. That could have been disastrous. <laughs> I gather my thoughts and march inside the Sada clan's palatial home. This place is so fancy. I feel like I should be wearing formal clothes right now. I mean, honestly, this place has two staircases, you know? Somebody's rich when they got necessary staircases. I wonder if they have a butler. 
I feel like I could get used to the lifestyle of the Burgessy. Burgessy. Who needs workers? Equity when you're rolling in fat stacks. Yankee's bedroom is on the second floor, third door on the right. She's a little sensitive at the moment. Try to be gentle with her. You will need to coach her out like a frightened kitten. Got it. Whoa. I creep into Genki's Shan's bedroom, careful not to startle her. I grew up the wall searching for a light switch, I can't find anything. It's really dark in here, but I can make out of shape in the distance that I'm assuming is Genki Chan. Hello, anyone here? Who's there? Genki Chan, it's me. Two. Who? Player two from Sakura Blossom Academy, remember? Oh, Two Chan, what are you doing here? Where are you? I'd like to be able to see you if we are going to talk. A light clicks on revealing Genki Chan. She looks like a total mess. Her hair alone looks like a bird's nest from the stank hair that's wafting my way. I'd also wigger that she hasn't bathed in at least a week. Damn, she has a many bags under her eyes as the baggage claim at Narita Airport. What do you want, Tuchan? I came because I was worried about you. I miss you, Genki-chan. You haven't been to class in weeks. I know, I just can't face her. Oh, Maku-chan. Genki-chan explodes into a deluge of tears. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Fuck. Maku-chan, my one and only friend, I and now she's gone. She was right, Tuchan. I'm pathetic without her. Just look at me now. Without her, I have just been sitting on my ass all day and night watching volleyball games online. What are you talking about, Genki Chan? It's not that bad. My words trail off as I notice a roach crawl out of Genki Chan's blackened burrito. Um, I can't believe how ungrateful I have been, Maku Chan. Has always been my friend, even from the beginning. She is not a very good friend the way she treats you. You don't get it, Tuchan. I have had a rough life. I grew up in an orphanage. Really? I had no idea. So you so you and your sister are adopted? No, she is my adoptive twin sister. What the freak? I don't get it. We were separated at birth. Our biological parents took her in. I was sent to an orphanage. Eventually our parents found me and adopted me. That's kinda nice that they found you at least, right? Yeah, but only after I had this shit kicked out of me on a daily basis when I was a little kid. But you're so athletic, how did that happen? When I was small I was sick all the time. I spent almost all of, of my childhood bedridden. Lots of medical problems. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Since I was so easy to pick on, the other kids always teased me and pushed me around. When I met Mokuchan, that was around the same time my parents adopted me. I met Mokuchan at Sakura Blossom Academy when it was still a co at school. We were both lonely, so we hung out together. Later she encouraged me to play volleyball since I liked it so much. It is how I got it in shape. After that I started coming out of my shell. Everything good in my life has happened because of Makushan. She was the one who made me change. It wasn't Makushan, it was you. You are the one who did all those things that made your life better. And right now you are the only one who can get yourself out of this slump. I believe in you. You're awesome. I'll be here for you. You will? <laughs> Alright, so cute. Yeah, you're a champion, Genki-chan. There's nothing you can do when you put your mind to it. Really? Really. I think maybe Genki-chan just needed someone to let her vent. It tends to help if you talk things about things. Feel a little, little better? A little. How about we clean you up and go out someplace? I bet you could use some fresh air. I guess that's okay. Would you like me to wait for you while you shower? Nah, we have a hot spring in our backyards. You can join me. 
Are you saying that you're going to clean your body in a bath? Yeah. How unthinkable! That is our for relaxing, Ollie. Why would you wash yourself in front of others? Don't be such a square, Suchan. I was raised by Americans. They do all kinds of crazy things in the States. It just feels wrong. Just do it. Don't be a baby. Alright. <laughs> Genko-chan was waiting for us at the bottom of the stairs this whole time. It's nice to see you in the light of day again, sis. Hmm. Genki-chan said, yeah, I'll, I'll have a hot spring out back. We do, is that where you're heading? I nod my head. How about I join you then? I could use a dip. It really relaxed the vessels. Whoa, whoa, hold on, I just realized something. I'm about to be naked with Genki-chan and her sister. They are twins. I'm gonna be naked in a tub with a pair of twins and their banging bots. Hormones are cursing through me and I'm already getting even sweatier than I was before. I gotta be cool though. This will only be weird if I make it weird. It's really hard to act cool when you have got a GAV scene going on in front of you. I can't believe these girls, their bodies look like something you'd seen a pop-up ad on a porn website. I have a tingling feeling in my baby shoots and that ain't just to other jet I'm sitting on top of. I don't want to be rude so I struggle to peel my eyes from these identical knockouts. It's way too hard, though I find my eyes tracing their curves and shrouded by mouth-watering cocoa creamer skin. Are you two going out? What? Like, are you taking Genki Chen and anywhere after this? Oh, I hope Genki Chen realizes that what she said could, could be interpreted two <laughs> different ways. Why do you ask? Ex excuse me? Um, ask. Why do you ask? No reason in particular. Just curious. I know my sister could use a girl's day out. You shouldn't talk about me like I'm not here. I didn't mean anything by it. I don't really know any places around here. You have any local hangouts, second kitchen? I like the park that's down the street from here. Alright, whatever you think it's best, best. Fuck. Whatever is best for you. Okay, I will tell off and get pressed. Phew, okay, I'm glad this didn't last long. I'm not really into platonic bathing when I'm pinning off. I have been following Genki Chen block after block, but I still haven't seen any sign of a park. You sure this park is around here? Um, it's been a while since I've been there, maybe I forgot to tell you where it is. Great. This is nice though, <laughs> just a friend hanging out, sunshine, fresh hair. It's good to stretch those legs. Yeah, I guess so. She still seems pretty bummed. I need to do my best to keep her mind off things. So what do your parents do? They must have pretty interesting jobs to afford a house like that. Oh yeah, my dad is a celebrity chef. My mom is a professional tennis player. Whoa, that's really exciting. My parents don't have jobs anywhere near that cool. My dad's a, an, an accountant. I thought your dad was the prime minister. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I might have fibbed a bit. It's okay. I lied when I first met Mokuchan too. I told her I was part lizard. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I was really weird kid back then. Wasn't that only two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so my mom's a, a hairstylist. Is that why your hair is so pretty? Oh, thanks for thinking so, but your hair is pretty red too. I like to keep it short, that way it's easier to clean and it doesn't get in my way. That's true. Uh, scent scintillation. I need to do something in to spice up this conversation. I look f around for something to comment on. Hey, what about that thing? What? I walk over to nearby telephone pole and re rip off a flyer that's been strapped to it. The flyer 
is printed in black and white on recycled paper and the ink is sm smeared. Doesn't look very professional. It's an ad. What does it say? Help wanted. Exciting new prospects. Wow! 1,600 yen per hour. I don't know if it's this mu it's much um, in Japan or, or not, but uh, whoa, it has a phone number underneath, we should call it, what for? Come on Gekicha, this is exactly what you need, a job would be great for you right now. You'd get out of the house, meet new people and make money doing it, we could work together, it'd be fun. Kinky Chan looks like she's thinking it over. You know what? Sure. Awesome. You won't regret it. I take out my cellular telephone and dial the number on the fire. What is that? What? That cinder block you're holding up to your head. Oh, my parents are on a hold cell phone plan. We haven't been able to upgrade it. Ever. Shit ringing. I wait eagerly for someone to pick up. Yes, the voice on the other hand of the line is that of a groove middle-aged man. Hello, my name is Player2, I'm calling to inquire about your job advertisement. My what? Uh, I don't know, I just found this flyer on the street, it says that you're wiring. One moment, please. I wait in silence, there's some noise on the other end of the line, various manly voices and ugly laughs. What's he saying? I'm on hold. Oh. Hello? Yes? Right, sorry about the confusion on my hand. I'm with the 250 production talent and juicy. You got talent? Me? No, not really. My friend does though. Oh yeah? Who's your friend? I smile at Genki Chen who's staring at me, probably wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. Her name is Sato Genki. She's athletic and cool. She? So this is the girl we are talking about, yeah? Yep. Okay, good enough. How about you all meet me down at the office? Directions are on the back of the flyer. Awesome, we'll be there. I hang up. Great news, I just lined up an interview for you at 250 production. What's that? Apparently it's a talent agency. I have never heard of it. I thought it was just being ignorant and uncultured, but apparently 250 production isn't famous at all. Gee, I sure I hope this isn't a scam. Guess we'll find out. Let's check it out. We don't have anything to lose. Uh, yeah, now <laughs> the inter interview. Let's see how it goes on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Peace out.